Hello, I'm Atuba Judge. Now you're welcome to a new week. Praise God. Now we are in 2020. And listen, it's a blessed year. You know, that's why the Lord laid it in my heart to share with you on how to enter the year. Praise God. Now we 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 are we are still talking about how to enter the year. And and I'm trusting the Spirit of God that this week. He will open your eyes of understanding. He will open your ears that you will be able to know and hear his voice. Now, that's the most important thing. See? Eyes that see. He ears that hear. Now, those are two main important things that, that, that you need for this year. You know, the Lord told me something at the beginning of the year. He said, son, pray for this. Pray that I give you sight. Now, when God tells you pray for something, you better pray for it. I'm sharing it with you because it will help you. And then the next thing he said, he says, pray to always be walking in the truth. See, Jesus said when the Holy Spirit comes, he will guide us into all truth. Now, that's his job in our lives. It means God never wants you to ever walk in a lie, no matter what it is. He doesn't want you to walk by a rumor. He doesn't want you to walk by a lie. He doesn't want you to be deceived. He doesn't want you to be cheated in anything. See, so the Holy Spirit was given to us so that he will take us by the hand and guide us into every truth. Now, that is something you should believe for and that is something you should receive from the Lord. Praise God. So, eyes that see. You know, we can just pray. Just pray this with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive from you sight. Eyes that see. Therefore, I see what you are showing to me every day. I see what you want me to see. I see what you're doing all around me. I receive sight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord, I also receive that I will never walk by a lie. So I receive the ministry of the Holy Spirit into my life to guide me into all truths. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I don't want to walk by a rumor. I don't want to walk by a lie. I want to always walk by your truth. Praise God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. Now, you know, Jesus said, I am the truth. What does that mean? Whatever he tells you is the truth. Is God. Jesus never tells a lie. The same way the devil can never tell a truth. He, he can never tell truth. He doesn't say truth. Jesus said about him when he speaks a lie, he's speaking his language. See? So, so when he opens his mouth to speak, everything that comes out of his mouth is lies. Now, you know the way this works. For example, the devil can tell you, oh, um, this thing you're holding is a Bible. Or this, this book on this table is a Bible. Now, what, from what Jesus said, automatically when he opens his mouth to say it, you just know that it's a lie. Say, but, but, but is it not the Bible that is there? Now, understand something. When he is saying something to you and what he is speaking to you, you need to understand. Now, when someone tells you something with the intention of deceiving you, he is leading you in a lie. So you don't listen to him at all. Are you getting what I'm saying? Because whatever he tells you, no matter the facts he puts before you, his intention is to mislead you. So the moment you begin to believe him in one, you are forced to believe him in the others. See, now that's why when Adam and Eve sinned in the Garden of Eden, God had to drive them out of the garden. You know why? Not because God couldn't forgive them, but there was a big problem. Now, before this time, Adam and Eve would believe everything God tells them. If God tells them this is bad, then they say that is bad. If God said this is right, they knew that was right. So that's how they were working. Until the day they began to listen to the devil. See? Now, because they believed the devil, when he told them, oh, I, I, I want you to get this. They believed the devil when he told them that if they eat of that tree, their eyes will be opened. They believed him. 
And then they went ahead to act out their believing by eating from the tree. Guess what? The next thing the Satan, the, the next thing Satan told them was that you are now naked. And it's a bad thing to be naked. Before this time, they knew they were naked according to scriptures, but they were not ashamed. Why? Because they felt, they knew that to be naked means to be plain. To be naked means to be, to, to, to see true. See, this is who I am. There is nothing hidden about me. That's what they knew and understood to be nakedness. But Satan comes and says, Ah, oh, that thing you know about nakedness is not so. It's a bad thing. Suddenly, they became ashamed. And guess what? When God showed up and said, Where are you, Adam? He said, We hid ourselves because we were naked when we heard your voice. What did God say? Who told you you were naked? Now, God wasn't just asking them, who told you you're naked? No, 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 no. He was asking them, who explained this nakedness to you this way? You were listening to someone else. You were listening to the wrong person. And his intention is to take you away from God. Now, God had a problem with Adam and Eve. It wasn't a forgiveness problem. The problem God had with Adam and Eve was... They are not going to obey and completely believe everything God says. Satan would always come and tell them something else and they would say, oh, maybe it's true. See, because they started believing him in one. Now that's the problem with listening to the devil. When you take one from him, oh, he's gotten access to you. Now you'll be forced to take every other thing that he brings to you. So you know what? Don't accept his word at all. Praise God. Why? Because God has already spoken to you. And his word is bare. His word is there for you. And that's what you should hold on to. And that's what you should believe. Praise God. I've got to stop here. We're going to continue tomorrow. Listen. The Spirit of God is ready to bring blessings to you this week. And I pray you receive all of it. Have a blessed day today. Bye-bye.